And another car off, it's the number 65 Venturi and uh, that the uh, Stefan Rattel driven car and we see how he made a mess of it. Completely lost control in that chicane, went sideways, decided to take to the gravel. Rattel, Schaffler and Hunkela. And is he going to hit the barrier? Yes, he is. And look at those marshals diving for cover. They saw that one coming. Because again, out of uh, Arnage, as a bit of massage there for one of the Japanese drivers finding this uh, heat somewhat overwhelming. And the WR team. Oh, and uh, oh, a dodgy moment there. Just. Uh, Offline for the number 48 in time at the circuit. It has done quite a lot of sports car racing. Look at that fuel spraying. Rather dangerous moment there. Years go on, and I say fat and good years, but in fact, in these GT regulations, we see that fuel spraying in. The tyre width are much narrower than had uh, previously been run on these uh, nine. And look at that, big dramas there. And smoke looks like a blow up and Across there, oh, and round it goes. No, you saw a flat tyre. Coming slowly into the pits, the Dalmas Hayward Baudi car running out of fuel and freewheeling into the pits. And that was a lucky break because if that had happened somewhere else around the eight mile circuit, that car would have been out of the race. And, uh, there, Hans Stuck waits patiently for his next in. There, Derek Bell at the uh, wheel of the. Oh dear! And that mechanic goes uh, base over apex. And uh, he couldn't do that again if he tried. <laughs> and fuel and brake pads going in. But that Corvette certainly looking very strong indeed. And uh, well driven by uh, Boris Said, uh, Michel Masonerve, and Frank Jelinski, the very experienced uh, German racer who's done many Le Mans in the past. And he's very quick indeed. And a great rumbling V8 engine it had moved all the way up into fifth place. Problem there for that uh, tile be clad Venturi. Maybe it's run out of fuel. And the driver forgetting to connect his headset. And uh, there's a few racing drivers who've had the ignominy of doing that on camera before. And here we see the lead Toyota. Coming up behind another Venturi with the V6 Peugeot engine to, and uh, almost collecting and having to go out very wide indeed. Look at the flag marshal waving to that Venturi. Look in your mirrors, pal, get out of the way. The race leader's coming past you. <laughs> in second place, meanwhile, problems here. And this is the car that, of course, got in the way of the leading Eddie Irvine. Aaron Martini, Jeff Krosnoff for Toyota, and you see it did actually touch and got spun by the Toyota. Well, I'm afraid you deserve that. And just look at the black marks it left. It went spinning off, and that must have given the guy a real fright. Get a, a lot of different varieties of drivers in this from the, what they have to call virtually app. And uh, just look at those flames. Extinguishers to the ready, and obviously a big problem. But meanwhile, this is uh, a useful, but not by Le Mans standards at all. Long lead by the number one car. It's pulling off. A problem. A problem for the leading car. Now, what can that be? Jeff Krosnoff, it is, at the wheel. Porsche Max Velti there. And just look how close they are now. That is the gap between second and third position after Almost 24 hours of racing in this stupendous Le Mans. Listen to the crowd. Minus four seconds, they're saying to Eddie Irvine. Yes, you can do it. You can catch Thierry Bootsen, but will second place be any consolation for the drivers who led this race for so long? And coming to the finish now, and look, oh, oh, dearie me. Well, of course, those cars are crawling. They want to, don't want to do another lap. I'm very nearly collected by these two racing for second place. Normally, at the end of a Le Mans like this, you can crawl round no problem. And Porsche win Le Mans for the first time in seven years. And second place, there's the uh, Toyota team management. And still, this battle continues. And Thierry Bootsen uh, trying to see if he can find a way Round and look, cars everywhere. This is very dangerous indeed. 
and they should be allowed to race to the flag, but they can't. And as Derek Bell comes home to take sixth place, the flag marshals very nearly mown down there, cross the line. And yes, indeed, the Toyota, the number one car, does finish second, and the Porsche finishes third.